On Monday, December 23, Vermont's Public Service Board approved an application filed last year by Vermont Gas Systems Incorporated to construct a 43-mile pipeline to bring natural gas from Colchester to Middlebury, Vermont, first phase of the company's project to bring Canadian natural gas ultimately to Rutland by way of Ticonderoga, New York, across Lake Champlain. Bruce Edwards is a longtime Rutland Daily Herald staff writer who reports on business and energy issues. This is Entry Point. I'm Richard Alcott. So Bruce Edwards, the Vermont Public Service Board issued a certificate of public good to Vermont Gas Systems to extend its natural gas pipeline south from Chittenden County. Correct me if I'm wrong here. I'm getting this directly from what I read in the Rutland Herald, which may sound very familiar to you. To extend its natural gas pipeline south from Chittenden County. Does this step make the pipeline a done deal or, or are there any further hurdles before construction actually begins? Well, I, I think there's going to be quite a bit of time before construction begins. I mean, only because I think there there might very well be an appeal. The parties, and there are 38 parties to this proceeding, not all of them are opposed to this project, but parties, you know, uh, any number of parties could appeal uh, they have until uh, January 23rd, I think, to file an appeal. I don't know if that's likely or not, but certainly that an appeal by opponents, and there are several of them, uh, is under consideration. So, uh, I mean, given given a best case scenario, they could begin construction, you know, in the spring or in the summer, and maybe gas could be flowing to Addison, parts of Addison County, by the end of next year, which would be the end of 2014. You've written that this plan is not popular with everyone. You wrote there was a September meeting in, in Middlebury that pulled in hundreds of protesters. Now, why might environmentalists and residents along the right-of-way be concerned about a pipeline coming through their property? Well, I think if you're a property owner, you might be concerned because you might not have use of the property, depending on what you use. Uh, there's a farm, uh, the Palmer Farm up in Moncton. Uh, they're opposed to the project because they feel that a pipeline through their property, which is an organic farm. At least that's the plan that they would like to use it as an organic farm. So they're, they're property owners. They're, they're opposed to the project. Uh, environmentally, you know, a lot of this gas is fracked gas, which has gotten a lot of attention. Uh, it's an extraction process that has environmental consequences, uh, negative environmental consequences that at least opponents say are environmentally, uh, you know, unsafe, unsound. And so uh, that's one reason natural gas has lower uh, greenhouse emissions, and it's certainly now a cheaper fuel than, than either uh, fuel oil or propane, which is used to you know, heat and to cook. For most homes in Vermont, it's, it's, you know, it's the fuel of choice or maybe the only fuel of choice. But you know, opponents say, you know, we have to move, and, and the state's goal is to move toward renewable energy or at least have 90% of our, our energy from new, renewable sources by the year 2050. And this is just, you know, we shouldn't be investing in, a, in another fossil fuel source or an extension of fossil fuel to the south of, from Chittenden County. And, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to them. So let's let's just cut that off now and, and just focus on renewable energy sources. There are pictures of, of uh, you know, poor folks living out in the Marcellus Shale who their tap water is flammable. It actually burns coming out of the, coming out of the tap, and it's not potable anymore because of the, the fracking. And down in Texas, there are reports that the, the fracking in the in the Fort Worth area causes earthquakes. But fracking is is illegal. It's illegal to to use this hydraulic uh, fracturing in the state of Vermont. It is. Uh, two years ago, the legislature passed a law that says you cannot use fracking as an extraction process for you know, for either for any purpose, for fuel oil, for our extracting. And there's no crude oil in Vermont, as far as I know, or, or even or even natural gas. But it just uh, to be on the safe side, they you know uh, they outlawed fracking, which is what opponents say. You know, it's pretty hypocritical. We're we're making it illegal to frack to use fracking in Vermont. And yet we're going to import natural gas from Alberta and Canada, in this case, through Canada down to, you know, to Addison County or even right now to which is Chittenden County and Franklin County, which have natural gas. So it's, it's pretty hypocritical. You know, supporters would point out and the Public Service Board pointed out in its order that, you know, fracking has been around for a long time. And even crude oil in North America is obtained, a certain percentage is obtained through the fracking process. So it's not new. 
Bruce Edwards reports on business and energy issues for the Rutland Herald in Rutland, Vermont. You've been listening to Entry Point.